I don't know how, but we are 460 kilometers away to become the first couple to ride a Vespa all across Italy, which geographically means from its westernmost point to its easternmost. We drove under pouring rain, conquered potholes, roads, <laughs> A lot of balls and harpins turns, but also ate some of the most delicious Italian food while also sightseeing at the most scenic roads for a total of 1,480 kilometers. And although having made it this far makes us feel so close to the finish line, we have very bad history here in South of Italy. So we really hope this trustworthy Vespa will be the exception to our rule. Good morning, from the last time we saw you in Amalfi, we drove past Salerno and called this home for a very needed resting day. So this morning we are ready to keep driving because that's what we gotta do if we wanna make it. Wow, the countryside is breathtaking. We are surrounded by yellow and green hills, uh, olive trees. It's just uh, magnificent with this blue sky. Wow. Whenever I think uh, that we've seen it all uh, of Italy, there's uh, a stretch of road that is there to surprise me. And I'm shocked that it doesn't matter how many kilometers we have driven across Italy, there are parts of it that uh, I would not expect to be this beautiful and instead they are. Wow, such a stunning country. <laughs> And it's also so beautiful to be surrounded by these wind turbines that are incredibly well merged with the fields and all the surroundings. The fact of driving a Vespa that is 125cc forces us to drive on these very secondary roads, but that also means that we get to enjoy every landscape that we are crossing. So no highways that kind of uh, make the road less interesting. These roads make the road uh, trip very interesting. Wow. Driving next to these uh, steep mountains and like being these narrow streets, it's like being in a postcard, I feel like. Più bella cosa di te, più bella cosa non c'è, unica come sei. Speaking of our bad luck here in the south, we randomly are passing in front and we had to stop of the mechanic that fixed our uh, level gear on the van when, when we were road tripping Italy on the van. This is crazy. Like we didn't plan this and uh, here we are. That's so casual and so fun. It, the mechanic now is closed, but we had to send him this selfie. <laughs> As we are climbing the Appennino, the weather is getting chillier and chillier and chillier and chiller. Chillier. Chiller. chiller. The sun is not shining right now, so it's even worse. But not that chilly. Kind of chilly. And you may be thinking, but Matt, with all this driving, don't you feel like sometime uh, falling asleep? Nope, because these herpins turns keep me properly awake. And you may be also wondering, isn't your butt hurting so much? Yes, it is. <laughs> We just crossed another region, another region, we are, region. We are in Basilicata! Basilicata! <laughs> what was that? I don't know, I don't want to know, I'll fly. <laughs> Wow, the road is literally passing over a lake and the view that you have from the bridge is incredible. Wow, I want to have more bridges! No! Wow, this lake is so beautiful and at the end of it there's even a dam. 
that it was huge. You can even drive on top of it. And that for letting you understand how big it was. <laughs> Basilicata is such an underrated region, but yet so beautiful. Like the natural beauty of it is incredible. We love Basilicata. We love Basilicata! <laughs> And from the mountains, we are back in the middle of the olive trees. Wow! Woohoo! And we are surrounded by vineyards! Salve! Our final spot of today is Cantine de Biase which is this stunning property here in Basilicata, where they make wine. <laughs> they are a very small business, family owned, and uh, you can properly tell that it's their passion, what they're doing here. Because we just had a tour of uh, the property itself and uh, of all the behind the scene of the production of the wine. They are so knowledgeable and you can tell that they put a lot of effort into understanding what it's best uh, to produce the wine they are producing. I'm a little bit shocked because uh, they properly gave us uh, all the details of how they thought of this property to be less harmful for animals and respectful of the biodiversity of uh, the environment here. And it's uh, very overwhelming from one perspective but on the other side, I'm like so relieved that we found such a cool place to have a wine tasting because that's what we are doing now. New friends paired with incredibly delicious vegan wines and a very unexpected vegan aperitivo with local dishes from Basilicata made this evening one of our favorites of our travels so far. Good morning. First time ever to wake up without a headache after having drank quite a few glasses of wines. So I'm very impressed by that. And also, as you can see, we are inside because they even allowed us to sleep here in the house they have in the vineyard, which is so nice of them. And also, they prepared a beautiful breakfast with a vegan and made ciambellone. No, the smell, baby. <laughs> so, if you ever have the chance, do yourself a favor and try Cantine de Piazze wine, because not only it's a spectacular wine, but also you're supporting a small business, family owned and with amazing people behind it. Super, super recommended. I'm so glad that this journey has allowed us to meet such wonderful people. Italy is full of amazing people everywhere. Do remember that. Basilicata region is really famous for its Calanchi and this road is surrounded by them. It's so beautiful. And we are also passing by a lot of fruit trees like uh, peaches and the trees are actually like uh, smaller than in the north and they are properly also. also apricots and they are properly like uh, trees looking. They're so cute. Wow, it's full of eagles. We just drove past one and it was so close. Wow. So wonderful. Yes, <laughs> you're so majestic. I love it. Mamma mia, che bellezza. And also, the landscape is breathtaking. Wow. Mamma mia. <laughs> Mamma mia, baby. And we are also seeing Krakow, which is a ghost town we actually visited during our road trip around Italy. On the Vespina, we 
We are going south. We are going south, going south, going south, south, south of the Vestina. We are going south. We are going south to cross Italy for the last time. And actually, without a sign, we have crossed another border. We are in Puglia, <laughs> which honestly scares me so much because the last time we were here our van broke down so we really hope the Vespa doesn't go south like that again <laughs> our last region this epic Vespa road trip look at the street so cool, we are practically driving next to the highway on the Vespa and then there's the highway. And what is really cool is that we are passing by centenary olive trees. Wow! It's crazy how in Italy just going to the next region, the landscape changes so much. Like uh, we are in a flatter area, obviously, in Puglia, and uh, it's so different, like compared to Basilicata before. We may have decided, since we are so close to the finish line, that uh, Angie is gonna drive uh, a stretch of the road. <laughs> okay, that we don't want to arrive. <laughs> Woo! Wish me good luck. <laughs> Wait for me! Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> le le mani ti tremano perché? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice to be in the back. <laughs> I'm too happy. <laughs> You're very good at filming, eh? It's not that easy. <laughs> I told you. I'm back in the back because I'm the princess. <laughs> I think after all this uh, stress, it's time for vegan ice cream. Mm. With uh, rice milk. And this one is uh, hazelnuts and chocolate. Now we can properly tell that we are in Puglia because everywhere there are trulli. These typical little houses. The trulli are such a, a different architecture compared to everything else we have in Italy that even for us as Italians they are so picturesque and peculiar because you can see them only here in this region in Puglia. We can finally see the Adriatic Sea! Woo! It means we are almost there! Yes! Almost. <laughs> oh my god! Such a cool feeling! And by the way, I'm in love of the contrast of the red soil with the green of the olives and everything else. It's so beautiful. Look at it! <laughs> wow! Wow! Mamma mia! This uh, part is truly unbelievably beautiful. I don't get over the fact okay, that these olive trees are standing and it's so beautiful like to pass by with the Vespa and uh, being able to look at every single angle. Wow. I, I laugh at every sign of 50, maximum speed 50 kilometers per hour because we are cruising at 30 kilometers per hour <laughs> to enjoy everything better. You know, it's wow. so magical. Yeah. Now we can see the sea, so it's even better! And now that home is set, I wanna go check out the sea I can hear, because that's the Adriatic Sea. 
There's the sea! The beach is really beautiful. Wow. It's time to make history. Oh my god. We still have 120 something kilometers before reaching our final destination, Capo do Trento. I'm so excited about it. I really cannot wait to arrive. <laughs> oh my god, I I'm really excited. Uh, <laughs> from the Alps up to the bottom of Italy to the taco they eat Italian. Oh my god. It's incredible. It's literally incredible. <laughs> And uh, I still cannot get over like the views uh, here in Puglia. It's stunning to just wake up and be surrounded by olive trees and all the yellow from uh, the grass. It's uh, stunning. Oh my God. I feel like uh, we saw amazing views uh, along this road trip and we did appreciate them more because we were driving so slowly. Over that hill, we are starting to see Ostuni, the white city. We already visited during our road trip with our van. Most of the towns here in Puglia are white, like the buildings are painted white, but Ostuni is just next level, like it's all white. That makes it very, very picturesque. Not even a hundred kilometers and we should reach Capo do Trento. On the Vespina, we're going south, we're going south, going south, going south, south, south on the Vespina, we're going south, we're going south, south to cross Italy. <laughs> Obviously, the weather is not looking great where we are heading. We got wet. had to stop so it's coffee time while the storm uh, passed by last day Sunday yeah let's try again to hit the road right now there's the sun to speak too soon. The colors of the countryside after the rain though are awesome. I don't know why but they look more vibrant and it's just breathtaking. I properly feel more in contact with the nature even though we are driving it's still uh, more of a feeling of being immersed in nature rather than in a car in a van. You're out there properly <laughs> as uh, we are getting closer and closer to the finish line i would like to address uh, why we attempt uh, such crazy ideas and it all uh, goes down uh, to when we realized that uh, if we hadn't like pursued uh, our idea of uh, road tripping italy we would have never do it we did it just because we, because we decided, okay, that's actually a great idea. Let's buy a van, let's convert it and let's road trip around Italy. And uh, even when things uh, got uh, really like uh, not great because our van broke, we still uh, pushed and wanted to finish what uh, we had started. It's always a matter of uh, the willingness you put uh, into making those ideas come true and at the end of the day if you don't pursue your idea it's not a matter of uh, not having good ideas it's always a matter of uh, how willing willingly you are <laughs> to make them a reality we hope to inspire you to go pursue even your wildest ideas now i'll stop talking because angie's arm is probably getting tired yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we are Ideas must come true, or at least try to. Oh my god, we are almost there. We can start to see the sea, and uh, it's literally a matter of a few kilometers. 
We are so happy! We are almost there! Almost! Few meters! Few meters! Let's go, baby! Let's go! I'm turning! I'm turning! Yes! I'm turning! Yes! Wait! <laughs> And we made it to the easternmost drivable point of Italy. Oh my god! From Bardonecchia to Capo d'Otranto. On this Vespa, we made it! Now we gotta go down to see even the lighthouse. Okay. Yes. Good job, eh? Little Vestina. Yes, baby! Oh my god! <laughs> it is so cool! <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> And now you may be thinking, okay, the vlog is over, the road trip is finished, let's go home. Nope, because we have decided to add other 37 kilometers to this already pretty big road trip, because there's a place we really want to check out. We made it to Agricola Piccafane, which is a vegan organic farm here in Salento. And they have olive trees, a garden and many plants. We are in the countryside and this place is really beautiful. They even have a restaurant, but tonight it's closed. So we are gonna have dinner at their home with the owner. And we are gonna spend the night in the pineta with our tent. Wow. Uh family cooked dinner is the best way to end this vlog with a warm welcome from Puglia. See you on the next crazy idea. Bye! Ciao ciao! <laughs> Good night! <laughs> we need to rest. Ma come bella andare in giro con le ali sotto i piedi e una pepa speciale che ti toglie i problemi Fuori città, pa, pa, ra, pa, pa. <laughs>